A very good morning to you, Crafty Lot. It is July the 24th. I can't believe the almost all the way through of July. Um, summer is half done. Time just flies, I guess, when you're having fun. Today, we're doing something really, really nice. I love these rings. They give you such a regal look, I reckon. Um, they are just perfect. I made them in so many different colors. There is three different sort of band styles within the instructions themselves. So do check that one out and I will show you in a minute how you can, I'm just gonna put them all on. I got um, the fifth color, I'm gonna demo it because these are the ones I told you that uh, I put the samples in such a safe place that it was so safe that I couldn't find them the other day. So last night I was up until gone 11 o'clock making them all up for you so I can show them to you. Um, they're quite nice and um, easy to make. Um, just sort of run around, you do the top first. Um, you can have an elastic version at the bottom. You can have a more of a, um, sort of a peel to strip at the bottom or just a single pearl one but I'm going to show I'm going to turn you down and I'm going to show you them how easy it is to make them I hope everybody's all right this morning let me just quickly say hello hi Helen Brenda Jan Charlotte Lucy Andrea Lu, Mar Marcia Joe Alicia Jean um oh Jean is watching Jean is one of our local ladies um she used to come to the beat clubs hi Jean um Judith Maxine Annie Margaret Camille Sandy Paula Francis Joe Carol um Lucy, not Lucy, Andrea, um, oh, there's so many of you lovely ladies and gentlemen are here today. Like, so let me just turn you down and I'm going to be showing you what we're going to be doing. It's really easy. Just turn the camera. There we go. Right, so the rings themselves, each, of, each one of the kit, what we have on the website, I'm just going to bring the website up quickly. And... So on our website, um, the fourth category on the side, as we had a little change around, is your Facebook tutorial ones. Um, going to Regal Jewelry, which is today, and all the, the rings are there. The project download is there, which is one ninety nine. It's four pages. I'll get Molly to grab it in a second because I printed it out and it's left it downstairs. And... Um, and show it to you so it shows you three different versions of the rings you got auburn which is the one i have on it's a really nice sort of goldy and bronzy colors and it's like you know it's just got um very warm tones as well um then you got the bronze one and i think i just left them underneath you got the bronze one i love this color um this is sort of a cooler brown um, again, I've got like a grey crystal in the middle with grey crystals on the outside going around. Again, a really nice, um, really nice colourway as well. As I had to, I changed the colourway slightly yesterday. So this one is a silver one, silver grey. Um, looks really nice. Again, um, quite a cool colourway, but you could wear with loads of blues and other bits of pieces. And then we got the sky blue. Now, if you know me, I love my sky blues. And... Um, or any sort of blue, navy blue. Um, I'm really happy with this one. It turned out such a gorgeous color. Now, the only ones you haven't got the picture there on the website is the silver cloud, but I'm gonna demo with that one today so you can see that one as well. Now, the kits are 10, uh, from 10, 20, no, 9.75 to 10.55, but they do make eight rings. So you can make eight of these lovely, lovely little babies. Now, the difference in the bands, um, Debbie's saying, sorry, the camera is a bit full. Can you do a quick wipe? Yeah, of course I can. Sometimes you get like a little speckle of dust on the camera itself. And then it doesn't focus in. So are we better now? Is it showing you nice and clear? Just let me know. So we've got three different bands. This one is a little peyote stitch band. I love doing these ones. Um, they done with a size 15 seed bead. Then you have your normal band, which is, this is just the three millimeter pearls, but I use the thread, so this is not stretchy. This is gonna have to stay the size, um, what you're making, do these, what, what I done with these two ones. Unfortunately, that one only fits my wedding ring finger, so let's take it off, and I'm just gonna pop it on, and you can see 
So this is nice and solid. So if you know the size of your ring, you could go for this one. However, if you make jewelry to sell, this is what you can do. So this is got an elastic base. So the ring can be slightly bigger or smaller, um, fitting one size, I guess, fit most people. And that's a really great way to combine the two. So the elastic part is only at the bottom. The top part is still stitched with needle and thread. How you will be do doing all the other rings, but you're gonna start a little bit different way. Right, so first I'm gonna show you how to do the top part and how to do sort of a proper ring. And then I'm gonna show you how to start off if you want to do the elastic band themselves. Right, so let me just pop these things to the side. So the color I'm gonna demo with is going to be the silver cloud which using this really lovely I think they're called dove on the website pearl they are quite sort of a minky color um, a little bit set like a beige a cool beige color um, to them so they look really I don't know they're multi-variable I guess I'm using champagne crystals and again, the three millimeter, what we will be using is gonna be the dove color again. I'm probably gonna need some more if I'm doing the band as well. So the thread we're gonna be using today, oops, is the double A thread. Now, because we're working with size 15 seed beads, you're gonna to have to go through those beads more than one time. And um, where did I put my needles? Oh, there it is. They, they, the, my needles were hiding behind my coffee mug. So I'm still using size 10 needles, which is a little bit bigger one. But if halfway through the project, if it gets a little bit tricky, you can always put your thread through a smaller needle. I just like the size 10s because they're a little bit sturdier. They're a little bit, you know, stronger, I guess. So I'm gonna take a couple of arm spam of thread I'm gonna leave the bobbin on at this point, but actually I could take it off if I wanted to because um, it doesn't take that much thread to make the whole ring up. I'm actually gonna bring you just slightly a little bit down so you're closer to my mat. So you can see what exactly I'm doing. Let's pull these beads down here. So we've got a nice clear area here to work with. And that's it. Put those rings on the top. Oh, I, I was looking for various the other two rings and they on my fingers and wearing them. Oh, silly me. This is going to be one of those morning. And then, of course, the main component, our kit, is one of these little crystal shank buttons. Now, we only got limited stock of these ones, so they're only available in the kits themselves. But don't forget, one kit will make you eight rings. Now I'm going to just get some size 15 seed beads out. In fact, probably that's a little bit too much. And we're going to get started going. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to pick up our six millimeter pearls, all eight of them. And we're going to form, I'm not going to knot the tail and uh, working thread together because I don't want to form a knot because then a knot could seep into the bead itself and then it could stop us to going through it later on. And another four, just quickly adding them on to my thread. So because I'm not going to knot it together and I, I do want a little bit of a firm base, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this around my finger and I'm going to go through all the beads again to form my circle. Just like that. I'm going to suspend actually this on my finger by wrapping the tail around my index finger and I'm going to go through all of the beads. Now once I get back to the beginning, I'm going to go past my tail and carry on going round my base. So if I'm going to go around a few more beads, we got a really nice and strong thread path at the bottom there. And now they're going to 
we can start adding our decoration. So the next step, what we're gonna add is the little loops at the top, which are gonna be our crystals. And once we made the top part, then we're gonna add the shank button that inside it from the other side. So the pattern you need to pick up is one size 15, one crystal, one pearl, the pearls are three millimeter, these little ones, another crystal and a size 15 on your first, you can see it, on your first loop. Now locate which bead you are coming out from. So I'm just coming out of this one right here at the top. So I'm gonna go through the bead from the other side and the next bead in front of it. And when I pull this up, I'm just created a little loop just on the top of that pearl. Then I'm going to pick up one seed bead, one crystal bead and one pearl bead. Because I already have the crystal and the seed bead right at the bottom, bottom which I added on my first loop. So I'm going to go through that crystal. I'm going to go through the seed bead. I'm going to go to the bead which I'm just exiting out from and the next bead itself. I'm on. <laughs> oh, Molly is here. She just had a little Hi. bit, of, a little bit of problem with her computer. It started to do an update the last minute. It's like when you don't need it. That's when these things happen. Just say that. Um, oh, I'm going to do an update again. You're going to pick up a seed bead, a crystal, and a pearl, and then you're going to go down on the second loop on the crystal and the seed bead, the bead, the six millimeter pearl you're exiting out from, and the next one along. And pull Angela this tight. I had a question. She asked, what size needle is best to use? Right, so at the moment, I'm using size 10 needle, which what I would use with super long size D. But because the size 10 needle is just a little bit more sturdier, if you get, if you find that you get stuck and you can't go through the seed beads anymore, then you can change to a size 12. But I always start off with a um, size 10. So just giving me a little bit more to... I suppose because my, not my tension, but the way how I grip the needle, it's quite strong. And um, some days in my household, you can't find a straight needle because as I'm pulling them and pushing them through, I bend them all and they all sort of snaky shapes and well, all sorts of shapes. So I always try to start with 10. And if I need to move down, I can move the hand. So you're just going to repeat that step over and over again until you get all the way around. Uh, Dorothy asks, can you can Simon put a bundle together with different colours? The, but the shank buttons are what's the, going to go into the middle, this really nice sparkly little um, crystal buttons. Now we only got very limited stock of these, so um, we only got enough to put them into the kits. So they only come in five colors as well. So what you see on the website is what we have, which has got the silver gray, we got the sky blue, we got the auburn, and we got, what did we call this bronzy band color, Molly? Bronze, yeah, I think, bronze. yeah, bronze. Yeah, we call this bronze. And I'm just doing the silver grey up right now. So I'm demoing with that one. Oh, I got a little... My thread is just looped around that seed bead, not a little thread. So I'm just going to quickly pull it pull the little knot what's created on the out. When I'm trying to take a knot sort of out or off of my beading, I get an extra needle and I'm sort of stabbing at it as I would um, or using it like a knitting pin, I guess, to pull the thread apart rather than just trying to do it with one, um, one needle. Because if you, once you're pulling it one way with one needle that knot will tighten up on the other part and i think that's it and just pull this loop through or we not free yes just pop that needle away and pull this through so that's it i'm almost around so i just only need to add one last section and then we're going to join the beginning and end together so i'm picking up 
my last seed bead crystal and pearl. I'm going to go down to the crystal, the seed bead, the pearl I'm exiting out from, and the next one. And as you can see, we went all the way around. So our seed bead and crystal is already there from the first loop. So we're going to go kind of just come up through these two. Let me just hold it a little bit tighter. Come up those through. And all we need to add is our pearl to complete our pattern. So I'm just going to pick up one pearl. going to go down this crystal and seed bead and into the pearl at the bottom to complete this circle. And when I pull this up nice and tight, you can see we have got the top section as well. So at this point, I just like to sort of go through a couple of beads at the bottom just to work away from my last loop, I guess. And then I'm gonna add the button itself into the middle. So I'm gonna pick up one pearl one seed bead, gonna go through the hole on my shank button, then picking up another seed bead and another pearl. That's just sort of the right, and I'm gonna turn this around. And we picked up this pearl seed bead here, so when I insert the button into the middle, that is just sort of the right amount to give you the centralize, centralize, Center rise. <laughs> oh God, I can't, I can't get the words out today. Uh, Ruby has asked, do you get the PDF in the kits? Um, yes, you get the PDF in the kits as well. So the, the kits come with instructions. So, and the way how we added these kits together is just the price of the beads. Um, so it's worth the, and they're gonna be the right colors um, going together. So because we added these pearls, they just make that shank button sit right into the center of our ring. And I'm gonna take it diagonally across. So as I'm coming out of this pearl here down at the bottom, I'm gonna insert it inside and I'm gonna go diagonally across all the way and come through the one on the other side. And when I pull this up, it's just gonna, that's just gonna sit in the middle. Now what I like to do, I'm gonna take my thread around the next three pearls and come through this middle section again and go the other way. So if you look at your little three millimeter pearls, they are connected to the, both of the six millimeter pearls on either side. Uh, we have a question from Lorna, she put, is this a similar pattern to the Christmas tree I saw on the website? Not really. This is sort of got right angle weaving there as well, and the Christmas tree is based on that, but um, it's a slightly different one. Um, I think we had pendants, we had crystal and pearl pendants yeah, before. Yeah, I was thinking the same pendants we had a tutorial on. You had that's a, a yeah. little bit similar to this one, but obviously, we adding with the uh, the crystal pendants you were picking up seed beads between the pearls because you were exiting out of the seed beads so the method is similar but the bead counts and how you exit and and go into your beads is very different and another question could you use a is it monty instead of shank button oh, i might have said it wrong <laughs> uh, monty's have the they, they like little crystals they and have holes on the bottom Yes, you could, but if you got a Monty, which is, has got a hole going that way and the hole going that way as well, then I would sew it through, um, sew it through both ways. So you would sew it through one direction, and then you would sort of go up a couple of pearls and sew to these directions as well. So you get a really nice, secure um, way there. So this this um, way we completed with our little shank button is right into the middle. Um, I'm gonna come up to the top. So just go to a pearl on the side. I'm coming up to the seed bead and the crystal bead. And what I want to do next is to tighten up this little row in the middle. So I'm gonna go through the next pearl. And I'm gonna pick up a size 15 seed bead and go through the next pearl on my inner circle. And what this is going to do, just gonna to pull together those pearls 
nicely and neatly just to tighten them up and keep adding a seed bead between every single three millimeter pearl in the middle to strengthen it here. Um, Natalia said it's a bit dark at the bottom of oh, where that go. <laughs> a bit dark at the bottom of the screen where the beads are. Um, I'm not sure if you move the lighting. I try. I will try to move the lighting for next time. But um, my dog, can you Molly pull that ring in a little yeah, bit? Yeah. Then perhaps it will lighten it up. Just a setup we got here. We got this uh, lighting rigs, and we got this other lights as well. And um, well, that doesn't interfere with you, does it? Is that better now? Right, Diane is saying, you said yesterday you can make bracelets like this. Yes, you can. And I had my lovely sample. I had a, a blue bracelet all made up and ready to go to show you. Um, in the instructions, um, Molly, would you run down and grab the instructions for me? Um, and I had it um, downstairs. We printed it out. So in the instructions, it will show you if you want to make a bracelet, what you have to do, you have to get to this stage to make your little top parts of your rings, I guess, or um, just little sort of circles, a little decoration encasing the, your little shank buttons. Now, I went around all the way with my adding the seed beads into each one of those three millimeter pearls. What I'm gonna do before I go down to the bottom, I'm just gonna go through this circle one more time just to tighten it up a little bit more. And each time as I go, I'm going to pull it tighter and tighter. So if you want to make the bracelet, you're going to have to make up all of your, your little encasing for your shank buttons. And then you, what you, need, you can do is you can connect them up in a row to form a bracelet. Molly is going to grab the instructions and we got a um, drawn diagram on there, which I can show you. Um, page three is in use. <laughs> page three is used. Yeah. So you got but I need page four anyway. Yes, perfect. <laughs> so, um, as you can see, you can link them all up once you finish them. Um, you can have bigger or larger gaps, or you can even turn it into a necklace by adding more beads at the bottom and a little bit um, smaller sections at the top. You can link all of your finished little clusters um, together. But this is how you have to do how you have to cover them. So I'm just gonna quickly whiz around this one more time. And then we're gonna go down to the six millimeter pearls. This is really sparkly, really one of my favorite pieces of jewelry. So I'm just gonna go down to the crystal through the seed bead just to get to my six millimeter pearls. And what I want to do before I add my, um, the ring part of my, the bot bottom of the ring part, what's, is there a special name for that? Does anybody know? But um, shank part or, or what, what is this part of the ring called? I'm really sorry. Um, I just call it a ring, I guess. Um, so before we add the beads to form the band, that's it, that's the word I was looking for. Oh, the, the band, yeah. the, band <laughs> the band around the ring. I, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I just, maybe it's the late night beading last night. I just want to add one seed bead on the top between each of these pearls to cover my thread part. So if I show you on a finished sample, as you can see, we just want to add one seed bead in there all the way around to cover our thread path to make tidy up our ring a little bit better so i came down through the seed bead i'm just going to go to the first six millimeter pearl and i'm going to do the same thing i did at the top i'm just going to pick up one seed bead and go through the next six millimeter pearl just to give you oh come on Asked, what elastic would you use for shank beads? I will show you the elastic one just in a second. So as you can see, we're just adding this one little seed bead in here to cover up our thread path. And you're gonna go all the way around. I'm gonna show you how to do the band, and then we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to do the elastic. Uh, a question from Lorna: Should all do 
Do all the kits come with seed beads for ring base or just your them on the rest? Um, yes, so you get um, five grams of the size 15 seed beads in there. So that will be enough to do maybe one or two of these ones because like these size 15 seed beads are and it comes a couple of strands of the eight six no couple of strands of the three millimeter pearl so that's enough for a lot of ring bases like that you get a strand of the six millimeter pearls which is enough to do all your um sort of bases you got you're gonna have a strand of the four millimeter crystals as well so that's again enough to make all of them and i'm probably gonna have some left over to if you want to connect them up you can add them in between um you also get eight pieces of the shank button to make eight rings or if you want to connect them up to bracelets or necklaces that's really up to you so I'm, I went all the way around here and I just added my last seed bead. I'm just going to go through the next seed bead and pearl because I'm going to add my band. Now, what I like to do with the ring. So if you look at the ring from above and I don't know if the camera picks it up, but I think it does, that the hole on the shank button is just there going that way. So when I adding the band on my ring, I either want, I want to centralize this. So this one, if I show you, I centralize it that way. So the shank button sits straight down from top to the bottom. This one, I centralize this, um, horizontally so it, it sits to each side if then you when you make your ring this one is side to side as well when you make the ring and it is such in an angle um for me just that that little detail can make something look like more professional i guess just a little bit more thought through so I always as you can see if i show you from the back as well i like to line up and have it right straight so because our hole in the shank crystal is going that way i'm gonna add my band on the side here and we're gonna start picking up all our three millimeter crystals um now i think i added 22 on that one and that was just a little bit small for me so i'm gonna add 23 on this one or even go for 20 let's go for 24 and see what happens now i got the problem that whenever I want to buy a ring um, in a jewelry store that my ring are quite chunky I guess um, that I hardly find anything what I can wear and this way I can really make them to the perfect size so just gonna pick up 24 of these lovely three millimeter pearls to go all the way down all the way to the other side Come on, pearlies. Uh, Diane has said, will you be getting more crystal buttons? I'm not sure at the moment because the, the factory you bought these crystal buttons from, um, we used to have, do you remember, we did, uh, I don't know if any of you had, uh, or um, even can peel to bracelets, which they are using like bigger crystal buttons as well. And um, that wasn't, a shank style that was like a proper um like a proper four hole button but was it two hole or four hole i can't remember but uh, it was um made of crystal as well and unfortunately the factory who made the crystal buttons has closed down so we had quite a good stock of these but uh, um i am looking for a new supplier but at the moment i'm not sure if we can get um any more so that's 10 15 21, 22. That means I just got herself the silver kit. Oh, bless you. 23, 24. So I'm going to try 24, but probably I put in the instructions as well that um, 20 will give you a large ring, 18 will give you a medium, and 16 will give you a small ring. I just need a few more pearlies. Right, so I added my band. Now I'm gonna turn it around so you can see it better. Again, what we're gonna do, we're gonna diagonally take it to the other side. Our button is sitting that way. 
and I'm gonna take this diagonally from the other side. So if you count four pearls either direction, locate the one and you're gonna to come towards where you're joining is with the shank button just like that so i'm gonna go to one and i'm gonna go through the second pearl as well because what i really want to do now is pick up another three little pearlies i'm gonna turn my ring to the side i'm gonna count three pearls from the base and go through the fourth one and what this will do this will centralize our ring so in instead of just having one sort of row of pearls coming out from a particular way, we're going to have it, it's going to be joined in two points and they're going to meet in the middle. So I'm going to go all the way to the other side until I only have three pearls left. And I'm going to stop there and pick up another pre three little three millimeter pearls just to mirror the other side. So I got another two to go through. Uh, Heather has asked, could you use a 10 millimeter crystal bead instead of a shank button, please? Um, uh, let me just get a button out. So what the difference between a bead? So if you use a 10 millimeter bead, that's gonna be round all the way around. And these buttons are a little bit, um, it's got this lovely dome on one side, but other side is smaller. So if you use a 10 millimeter bead, it will it will raise your, I guess your ring up a little bit and you're gonna feel it on the bottom of your finger there. So whatever you do, it's just have to be a little bit squishier than um, a 10 millimeter round bead. So one, two, three. So I picked up my three pearls on the other side. And now I'm gonna come through, I'm gonna centerize it here and come through the two pearls on the base and pull this through. So with this, we are completed our ring. All this, I like to go back through and just sort of reinforce, especially the ring part, the, what did I call it, Molly? Sorry. What, the band? Band, yeah. <laughs> the, I, I, I think it's it's going to be one of those days today. <laughs> well, it's Friday, hey, or weekend is coming. I'm going to have a Magdalene on Sunday. Um, so I'm going to reinforce, I want to reinforce the band part, um, just following any thread paths what you created. And then you need to tie off your um, thread with a half hitch knot here or there. And that's it, your ring is um, created. So... I want to show you how to do how to start off if you want to have an elastic uh, band at the bottom and in that case we're going to start off let me just move these little cd beads out of the way we're going to start off with the, the band itself so i'm, I'm going to use flat elastic because we need to come back on ourselves and it's super stretchy as well. Um, it just gives you that little bit more flexibility in the ring itself. So you're gonna have to pick up, and where did I put my brown six mils? There we are. Um, the problem with the river, the river hasn't got a hole. So you're going to have to, it's, it's not, it won't sit inside there, it's going to fall out. So you need something with a hole on that you can sew it to the bottom. And just pop that there. Right, so you're going to pick up, how many did I pick up here? Three, six, ten, fifteen, sixteen. I'm going to pick up. 18 and 21 on this side don't forget i'm making this ring quite large to fit me so if your if your finger is a smaller size you only really want to pick up 17 beads here for a large um 
15 for a medium and maybe 13 for a small ring. So I picked up the band part of my ring here. I'm going to take a couple of six millimeter pearls and I'm going to pick up another three of the little three millimeter pearls. I'm just going to pull them right down and we're going to replicate it what we would be doing in a normal when we're using thread and needle. I'm going to go back on myself through all the beads. I'm going to miss the first three, three millimeter. I'm going to miss the six millimeter and I'm going to miss the three. The three times three millimeter pearl again, and I'm going to go through the rest, all of these three millimeter brass taking the elastic through. Now I'm using a big eye needle here. It just makes, um, makes it easier to, get your beads through and I'm only catching the little bit of the end of the it's a big eye needle the whole of the needle is an eye you can quite easily open it up it takes all sorts of mediums I'm only going to catch the end of this little elastic and I'm going to go through all of those pearls so I'm just going to suspend this in my finger so I got and see it easier I'm just going back through the the big eye needle really helps because it's just easier to pull if it gets a little bit trickier I'm just gonna hold it with a pair of pliers and I'm always just pulling one um, pearl through just like that and then going through the next one I just want to make this band part of it nice and strong uh, Brenda said would a pellet <laughs> not really sure um not really sure what is a pallet bead lovely but i will have i can certainly have a look they are like so many different beads out there with so many different shapes and different companies give different names for it um i haven't heard of pallet beads to be honest I heal. I will check it out for you, lovely. Just keep going through. Are we just pulling one bead through at a time? And the last few. Just making that little bit of band part of it. Because these pearl are only three millimeter, so they have got smaller holes on it. If you get a little bit stuck, just get your pliers, hold it nice and straight, so you can pull the beads down one by one. That's it. So now I got to the other end. Now I really wanted to have the knot right in the middle of this sort of where my um elastic is branching off so I'm going to actually change to the other side of the elastic because this one's become quite small there and I'm going to pick up three times three millimeter pearls I'm going to pick up the two six millimeter pearl and I'm going to pick up another three three millimeter pearls let me just Grab these beads out. So three, three millimeters. One, two, three. And just pull them down. Again, I'm just pulling them one by one to give less of a stress on my elastic. I'm gonna go through a two, six millimeter one. The button, the shank button. Yeah, I'm sure, um, I it's depending of how many pearls or how many 
crystals you start at the bottom that will give you the size what you can house with it so if you want to do with a larger one then you're going to have to pick up more pearls at the beginning if you if there is a smaller one then there is less pearls but you're going to have to work out um how much you need for the size with our kits that's already worked out for you and um, everything is there I, I know it's going to work because um you know, we sat there and worked out. And uh, yesterday, um, for the first time in a long time, because I didn't have the samples to look at and work from, um, when I was making some new the new colorways up, um, I actually had to sit down and follow my own instructions, which was, um, I think it might, might have been the first. So I'm just gonna knot my two ends together. So I'm gonna do a surgeon's knot. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna form a loop. I'm gonna take it through one time. Pull this up nice and tight. Then I'm gonna take my elastic the other way. I'm gonna bring it around once. I'm gonna bring it around twice just to have sort of extra um, twisting there in the middle. And I'm gonna pull this up nice and tight. Loads of little pulls. So you get that sort of bite point in your elastic. You could add a tiny bit of nail varnish there. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to put the end back into my needle and I'm going to take my elastic up towards my six millimeter beads just through the three, three millimeter bead in either direction just to get them away from the knot. So I'm not trimming it right next to my knot. I'm just going to take it up and then I can trim it off. So I just take it up one side. Then I'm gonna insert my needle to the other side. I think overall time-wise, even if you made the top first and added like a solid thread base to the bottom, or you did with the elastic, you're gonna pretty much end up um, spending the same amount of time of making your ring. And that's two and go to the third one as well and then I'm just going to pull this up nice and tight take my needle off and trim my ends one and two so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to form our base and I'm just going to show you how through that one and then you can refer back to the beginning of these instructions how to do the top part. Just grab a needle. I'm, again, I'm using Superlon double A for this one. I'm using, I think this one is called copper, this color I'm using with the bronze. So we got the band part of our ring now i'm going to start by going through the two of the six millimeter pearls here i'm going to pull my thread through just get a little bit more thread and then i'm going to pick up another two pearls and i'm going to take my thread i'm going to fold this up can have it sort of hold it around your finger if you like and go through these two six millimeter pearls i'm going to pull this up nice and tight and i'm going to pick up my final two six millimeter pearls i'm going to go back to the beginning where my tail end and just come through them again and when I pull this up, you can see we got the base of our ring exactly the same way how we started. Now I'm going to travel around one more time just to sort of have a nice and firm base here. Just like that. And let the end go. Now because the, you made the band part already and the elastic is there, trying to sort of pull your ring apart. Now I will have to come back through these beads again and again, but I probably won't have to come back through that much. So I'm gonna 
knot the beginning and the end together here just to give me a nice and strong base to work with because otherwise it will you don't want a loose base and just pull this up Catherine said, do I hear seagulls? <laughs> yes, you can hear seagulls. Um, we are um, collecting on sea, so I think about three miles, if that, from the seafront. Yeah. So they do come up, and usually what they do, um, we've got skylights here in the, the mezzanine floor of the warehouse. They drop stones on the top, and all of a sudden you sort of sit here, and um, all of a sudden you just hear this big, big drop and um, quite scary sometimes, but they do come. They do like to sit on the roof just opposite us. Right, and then you're gonna go in. I'm not gonna do it all the way. I'm just gonna show you the first couple of steps. Then you're back to the beginning, how we were before we started to make our normal ring. So you're gonna pick up your pattern, a seed bead, a crystal bead, a three millimeter pearl, another crystal bead, and another seed bead. Locate which seed bead, which six millimeter pearl you're coming out, and go through that one and the next one and pull this up. And we are straight back, we are creating the top part, the crown part of our ring, um, all the way along, doing exactly the same step as you would do with the normal version. But this version, now we got a nice elastic, um, just gonna add this nice elastic band to work with which sometimes makes life easier or if you um, suffer from arthritis which um, let me just take this off if you suffer from arthritis or anything like that when your swing finger swells up and I know because um, my one does that in the morning sometimes my fingers are even a little bit chunkier um, it's really hard to find the ring which then will fit you and will be comfortable all day through but doing it with the elastic part you will make sure that it just gives the little bit of give and take in there just a little bit of more comfort there to um, avail your rings and you're just going to go around and you're going to add all the um, crown part of your ring all the way around and that's it really you can add the as i showed you on the instruction page you can add it together you can make different sort of versions the pot band is quite nice as well i quite like that version as well um and that's the one two three am i missing a color what did i do with uh, <laughs> i did it again didn't i i'm looking for the sky blue and it's on my other hand so we got five colors in this one. This one is the sky blue. You got the silver gray. You got the um, bronze. Oh, no, no, this is the autumn. Then you got the, the bronze and the silver cloud. So I think that they are really, really lovely. They're more like, you know, cocktail links, just sort of dress up. Um, it doesn't take too long to make, probably like 20 to 30 minutes, depending on what version you do. If you do the one with the peyote band, it's obviously going to take you probably about an hour to make. But it's what finish you want to do, how, how you want to, you know, how you want to do it. If you know your size, just go and do the straight with the thread at the bottom. If you're a little bit unsure, then do the elastic version because it's gonna be really nice and comfortable to wear as well. I really, I do love them. We have only got limited stock. I think um, the silver gray one was the one which we had the less um, stock of. The other colors we got slightly more, but they are limited stock on the website. So I'm not sure if they're gonna last um, very long. But at the moment, still there, so it's fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Debbie said, what elastic is it, please? So the elastic, after I showed you how to do all that, did I not say it? So the elastic is the flat elastic. Oh, no, I did say it. It's the flat, flossy elastic. You can, we use this for the Caroline bracelet with the Super Duos. We used it for the Curve bracelet the other day. So you might only have some on your stash at home. Um, it's just, I used, you could use the Rand one as well, a smaller version of the Rand, but like the 0.6, because you have to come back on your pearls. But with the flat elastic, you can use your big eye needle and that just makes life so easier going through the beads backwards and forwards. And the flat elastic is more stretchier than the round elastic. So just give you the little bit more of a comfort feeling in there when you're wearing your ring. 
so that's it really from me today let me just turn you back around um do check out the website have a look um what we got on there please share the video so other people can um get in with the make as well we just love to inspire everybody um have a go they are really easy to do and you're gonna love them um i think when i first um I got, I made one in black and navy blue and I wore those quite a lot. And they are somewhere in my jewelry box as well. Um, when, I, when I make something, I tend to wear them for, I don't know, weeks, weeks and weeks and months. And then um, I change to when I make something else, when I like again. And then I go and wear that for weeks and weeks and weeks and months. So that's it. So do check them out on the website. They're really super sparkly. We really dress you up. You just only need one ring. I guess on your finger and it just gives you that um little bit of extra details i really do love them so i hope everybody's okay i'll be back tomorrow we're gonna be working actually with the mesh again we're gonna be working with um the little resin diamonds um putting in them and i'm just gonna show you a couple of little tricks how to make some really nice and sparkly bracelets or necklaces i guess if you want to so that will be back tomorrow sarah's gonna be with you on sunday um i think she's gonna be working with lucite leaves on sunday as I remember, and she's going to be video Monday and Tuesday as well. So I'm going to have a monster laying on Sunday, I think. I already told Simon, you're not allowed to wake me up. Um, I'm going to try to sleep as long as I can. Um, because I've been having such a late night doing all sorts of bits of pieces, just sort of crafting and, and doing. I've got so many projects on the go at the moment. Um, so that's it for me today. Do have a lovely day. Um, check out our website, join our groups. I love to see what you make, whatever you make. If you try any of the other versions, so if you have different buttons or different things at home, do have a go and pop a picture up in the handmade group. I love to see you what you're making. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Everybody have a lovely Friday and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.